It's like talking to a wall when you don't look at me I wanna speak my mind and tell you how I feel But it's like talking to a wall when you don't look at me Please just look at me I'm a ticking time bomb that goes up easily You always know which buttons you should push, baby I'm a ticking time bomb that goes up easily But you're still here with me Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the wash machine's on in the background. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a little bit about what is going on. I need to unpack and we haven't even started yet. We just moved in yesterday. We got the furniture in here. We still have to set up a lot of stuff, but mainly today's video is I want to get the kitchen packed away. Well, not packed away, unpacked. I wanna get everything unpacked, put in the cabinets. I want to align a lot of the cabinets as well. So I'm gonna kind of share with you guys what we have going on and we will get started. So here is what we have going on right now. Um, all of these boxes you guys see need to go in the kitchen or the living area or the dining area. That's why they're in the center right here. But I just want to focus on one room at a time. And as you can see by the little Caesars box, we have not been able to cook in the kitchen because we have no plates out, no cups, no nothing. So I'm about tired of eating out. We've been eating out for several days now and I just want a home cooked meal. So my plan for today is to get as much boxes unpacked as possible so we can have our kitchen functioning again. So that's the plan. First thing I do wanna do is align those cabinets, not all of them. I'm mainly just lining the ones that um, can get scratched up and messed up, like the seasoning one, the utensils one, all of that stuff. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much what we have planned today. Ryan's going to be helping me align the cabinets as well. So whatever I can't align, hopefully he can get aligned. And then that way we can get everything put in the cabinets. This is the liner that I got from Amazon. It was very affordable. I ordered two packs of it, came with four. I know that this kitchen has so many cabinets, so I figured I needed two packs at the minimum. I may need more, we'll see. And if I have any leftover, I do wanna line the bathroom cabinets as well. So I'll just use it in the bathroom. But um, I will link these my Amazon storefront so that way you guys can find them. And they appear to be really good quality. Okay guys, we are getting started with this unpacking. The first thing I wanted to do was clear off the countertops a little bit so that way I could have some room to work with and we're gonna be lining a lot of the drawers and also the cabinets as well. It was really simple to do. You could measure these out if you wanted to and use like a ruler or a measuring tape but I just kind of used my finger as a guide and then just kind of cut where my finger end, like ended at the end of the drawer if that makes sense. I hope I explained that correctly. It was very simple to do that way and then after I got one done, then I just use that one as the guide to cut the rest of them since a lot of the drawers were the same size. Really nothing I can do about it. Why do I fall back to you? It's like you're a drug to me. I can't quit. It's not like we're still 22. Trying something new just to pass time. I don't think that we ever could work this out. None of it makes sense. There's no reason why. Why I still fall back to you? Like I said, I didn't line every single one, but I strongly, strongly recommend aligning your cabinets, especially the ones that you're using very often where things are shifting around or where you have food stored or seasoning stored. So that way your cabinets stay looking new. I should have done this in my old house and I never did. So I really wanted to make sure I was protecting the cabinets in this house. Ones that I didn't really line were ones that like glasses and things like that. The glasses don't really ruin the cabinet, so I didn't line those, but I may go back later on and line those. I just didn't wanna to spend too much time on the lining process, and so that way I can get some things unpacked. Ryan was going to help me with the lining, and then we realized we could only find one pair of scissors, so I ended up lining as much as I could, and then I got to the unpacking.
I lined most of the like middle cabinets. I may decide to line the like upper and bottom ones, but I just know I'm not gonna have enough um, of this liner because these are so big. So maybe I should just line this one and these. Um, I think I may have enough for these ones, um, but I'm really liking how thick this liner is. So I ended up deciding to line these bottom cabinets as well. I did go ahead and wipe down all of the cabinetry before the movers got here, but I did a very, very quick job. And I also didn't use a disinfectant spray. So this spray that you guys see me using now is a disinfectant spray. So I am disinfecting all of the cabinets before putting this liner down. So that way I can make sure they're extra clean. This one was, this cabinet that I'm working on now was huge. So it about took the entire liner. I will say that I just went to Costco the other day and the cost on the liners at Costco are such a better deal. You get like four, they're like $14.99 at Costco, but you get like triple the amount. So I recommend if you want to line your cabinets, if you have a Costco membership or know a friend or family member that does, I recommend getting them from Costco versus Amazon because you're going to get way more for your money. in this video I'm constantly shifting things around I even shift things around after this video so I'll have to give you guys an update of how the cabinets turned out later on so you guys can see that but I just wanted this kitchen to be extremely functioning I wanted to make sense if anyone came in here that they would know where things are there's nothing like being in a kitchen and trying to find something like when you're in someone else's kitchen and going through every drawer to find the utensils so I tried to make it make as much sense as possible I put the utensils utensils by the stove um, top so that way it's like right there when you're ready to cook. I put the silverware underneath the plate so that way you can grab a plate, you can grab the silverware. And then I end up later taking that junk drawer which is to the left of me right now and moving it behind me. And I use that drawer for dish towels. I thought that'd be perfect that way if I'm washing dishes. I can just pull the dish towel out to dry them. I just wanted it to make sense completely. So I'm constantly shifting things around to get it perfect. a few dirty dishes in the sink that I wanted to take care of so that way we can go ahead and wash a lot of the new things so I am using a beach towel because it was huge and I needed a large space to be able to put wet dishes on my dishboard was not going to be big enough so I thought this towel would be perfect but I'm washing the dirty dishes that were in the sink and then we're going to start opening a lot of the new like kitchen items that we have I shared in a prior video that we recently just got married and a lot of our family and friends blessed us with the most amazing wedding gifts. So we have like brand new um, forks and knives and spoons and brand new like plates and cups and all kinds of stuff. And I wanted to wash it since it's brand new coming out the box. So this box right now that I'm unboxing is our brand new um, plates and bowls and our coffee mugs. So we're gonna get that washed. We're gonna get a lot of the things washed and then we're gonna start the organizing process in this video. Cause baby, I got problems, problems in me Sometimes it gets hard for me to tell you how I feel I'm afraid to show you it's underneath Cause I don't wanna let you down Got a lot of demons up in my brain Got a lot of bad thoughts giving me pain I'm afraid to show you it's underneath Cause I don't wanna let you down
process of getting everything unpacked and put in the cabinets was very long. I think it was a little bit longer than like a usual process because we did have a lot of new items that needed to be washed. I didn't want to wash them before the move because then I would have had to worry about packing them back up. I feel like that was just gonna be an extra step. So I definitely thought it was easier to wash everything, but if you were unpacking and you didn't have new stuff, you'd probably be done in half the amount of time that it took me. By the end of this video, I was so tired. You guys will see at the end of how tired I was because it was a very tedious process, unpacking, also unpacking new things, washing things, drying things, lining the cabinets, getting things in the cabinets, but I just wanted to do it the correct way so that way I'm not having to like redo it. Now, I don't mind like shifting things around here and there, but I didn't wanna have to like redo everything kind of deal. So I wanted to take my time with it and make sure I did it right the first time. So now I am washing my brand new Rachel Ray pots and pans. I definitely needed these so, so bad because my other set, Wow, I had for I think like seven years, so I'm so thankful for this set. We're gonna get this washed and we're gonna get it put in the cabinet. I don't wanna let you down. Got a lot of demons up in my brain. Got a lot of bad thoughts giving me pain. I'm afraid to show you it's underneath. Cause I don't wanna let you down. Let you down. One of my favorite things about this kitchen is that the sink is huge. It doesn't have that divider in the sink like it had at my old house. And I love that because it gives you so much room to be able to put dirty dishes in there. And it just gives you so much space. I love it. Now, one thing that I'm debating about changing out in the sink is getting rid of the stainless steel sink and doing a farmhouse sink, which is like a white sink. And I don't know how to describe it, but it kind of has a lip on it, but we would have to cut a lot of the quartz um, off. And Ryan's like, I don't know if we should be cutting the quartz or not. Obviously, we wouldn't do it. We would hire a professional to do it. We love the quartz, but I do love the way the farmhouse sink looks. Let me know down below if you guys have a farmhouse sink and if you think it's worth it for us to get one. I just want to make sure we're making the right decision in this kitchen. So I just washed our brand new pot and pan set. As you guys can see, we have mostly all new stuff for this kitchen, so I don't want to bore you guys and just share me washing things. So I think I'm going to wash everything that needs to be washed so that we can start getting stuff in the cabinets. I think that'll be a little bit more exciting for you guys, but just to share with you a little bit more, I have going on over here. I have this bamboo organizer that I just want to wipe out. I have to wash these sheet pans. We have brand new gold silverware. Everything's just new. So I'm gonna get everything for the most part washed up and then we will start organizing together. All right, guys, like I said, I didn't want to bore you with getting all of these dishes and utensils washed, but we went ahead and got our silverware washed. We got our cooking utensils washed, our pots and pans. Essentially, everything that was new, we got washed and we're now getting it put away. This little wooden organizer is amazing. I will link it on my Amazon storefront. It is perfect for organizing your utensils. I love it so much. And it also has some like larger squares on the side where you can put like some cooking utensils on it, which I love. And then, like I said, I wanted my cooking utensils to be to the right of the stove so that way it would make sense when you are cooking you can just grab one I'm right-handed so this makes the most sense and then we're also putting our sheet pans underneath the oven which I think is the perfect spot for those So all of these cups, I didn't have to wash because I had got them out of the old house cabinet and I wrapped them very well so no dust or anything got on these. So I'm able to just unpack them and get them in the cabinet. Later, I do want to align these cabinets. I don't know why I didn't. I guess like glass isn't really like ruin the cabinets, but I really have been loving the way the lining looks and how thick it is and how things don't shift around. So one day I will line these cabinets as well, but I am just unpacking the glasses. I finally have a space for all of my glasses glasses. I have shared in multiple videos that I love collecting glasses. I know that's so weird, but depending on my mood, depends on what glass I want to drink out of. If I want to drink out a short one, a long one, one with a stem. I don't know you guys, I just have an obsession with glasses, but I know I'm not crazy because I have a few friends that collect coffee mugs. And so that's their thing. I'm not really much into that, but I am all about collecting different shaped glasses. I do have 
this dust spot on the back of my pants for me sitting down and lining the bottom cabinets. After I did that empty house tour for you guys, I did sweep and mop the floors, but the movers got so much dust in this house. So you'll see once we're done with this process, I will go ahead and vacuum the floors. And later that day, I went ahead and mopped them because they got super dusty from all the traffic of people coming in the home with their shoes on, which you really can't ask a mover to take off their shoes. So we just dealt with it. And I ended up re-mopping the floors at a later time. But now we are just unpacking this Tupperware cabinet and getting all of my glass Tupperware in here. ended up buying a brand new set of dish towels from Aldi. I raved about these in my Aldi video that I posted on Wednesday and they are so good. If you guys need some new dish towels, definitely recommend Aldi. I love how thick they are and they're so affordable. So pick you up some new ones there. They have different color variations, but I went with the dark gray and the light gray. I had had my old dish towels for years and years and they were stained. So it was time for a new set. I just wanted you to see me. Never thought you'd notice Thought that you should know Ryan's breaking down some boxes. I'm going to show you where we're at. We are done for today. My back hurts, my leg hurts, everything hurts. But we got most of all of our glasses put away. So there's that cabinet. And then over here, we got a lot of our bowls and plates and cups and like smoothie jars and um, immunity shot jars put away. We still have so much boxes, you guys. Um, this cabinet is pretty much completely empty, reserved for the rest of the kitchen stuff that we have. This was already here when we moved in. So we are going to be, we ordered some glass, um, what's it called, like some glass seasoning jars. We are going to be doing that probably in a video, upcoming video I'm going to be, um, doing my glass seasoning jars and putting it in these guys. That is so cool to have. So that's empty up here. Just put some things we don't use very often in this one. This one right here is our Tupperware. We're missing a few. So when I unbox the rest of the boxes, um, hopefully we'll be able to find that. Um, that's completely empty. That's just some boring stuff you guys don't care about. I put some um, new sheet pans in here. Can't even talk because I'm so tired. Um, that's completely empty. So we have so much storage. So we have plenty of space for the rest of the stuff we haven't unpacked. Have this going here. Um, just all of my little utensils. I love the blush pink, so fun. And then this drawer is all of our new gold utensils or not utensils, serving, what do you call this, silverware? This is how tired I am, you guys. I don't even know what things are called. Forks, spoons, knives, steak knives, just a few other things in here. I probably will rearrange a lot of this stuff. I just wanted to get some stuff put away and I can play around with it later. Under here, I know I'm definitely going to organize this one, but I did wash everything. It's just our new pot and pans. We have our new cast iron pans right there. So I need to organize this a lot better. I can do that another day. Main thing is getting things out of boxes. Um, have some little cutting boards in here, some serving dishes. And then this one is just a whole bunch of random things um, that we use to cook. And then over here, I have my Nespresso pods and just some like gallon Ziploc bags. And did I put anything under here? I was starting to put some appliances under there, like our um, food processor. And then up here, we just have some coffee mugs and a lot of our serving dishes up in this cabinet. Last thing that we're going to do, and we are going to call it a day. We've been doing this for about four and a half hours now. Um, Ryan's been helping out a lot. So if you saw a lot of cabinets done and you're like, wait, that wasn't on video. He was doing cabinets as I was doing other cabinets. We were working together. That's how we were able to get so much done. But it's about 4.46. And Christmas is tomorrow, so we need to go to the grocery store and get some groceries. But first thing I want to do, and this, this stuff's not staying out, you guys, but 
I'm just trying to like find locations for everything. I gotta find where my coffee pot's gonna go, but I thought we would just get all of this clutter kind of put away and we will wipe down the counters and we will finish the rest of this tomorrow. Okay guys, at this point I was so tired. I had been in the kitchen for several hours and Ryan and I were working together like I stated, so we were able to get so much done. I definitely would have not been able to get half the amount done without his help, so that was so helpful having help do one room. We could really focus on that. So anyway, the last thing we're gonna be doing in this kitchen is I'm just kind of clearing off the cabinets a little bit, or I guess I can say the countertops, not the cabinets. We are gonna be wiping down the cabinets though, but I'm just getting everything off the countertops and we are going to give them a good wipe. We also are gonna be wiping the outside of the cabinets, like I said, because they got dusty. So I wanted to make sure that those were wiped down and good to go. Cause I don't care about your game. I just wanted you to see me. Thought that you should know I'm already sold. So never let me go. As you guys can see from this view, we have so many boxes left to unpack. We were able to get so much more unpacked later in this day. I do have one more unpacking video that I'm gonna be um, releasing on my channel here in the next few days, and it's just getting some more of these boxes um, unpacked. I also will be doing, in that video, I will be telling you guys all the new furniture that we have ordered. I also have picked up some new furniture since filming this video, so I will be sharing that in that video, but we ordered tons and tons of furniture I shared with you guys my packing video that we kind of want to do a different style in this house But we did have to move in all of our old furniture in this home because we needed somewhere to be able to sit Right, so we moved in like our older bar stools and our older couch and all of that stuff So that way we could have things I know a lot of the furniture we ordered is not going to be delivered until the end of March you guys So so many delays there But we are just so excited to get our new furniture and I can't wait to share like the decorating process with you guys So definitely get excited excited for some decor videos, going shopping with me for some home decor. I'm going to be going to Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Target, all of my favorite stores, and I'll be sure to film some shop with me so that way you guys can see all of the new things I'm picking up for this home. We can pretend love with just friends, yeah, but who are we kidding? Okay guys, that is really everything that we're going to be doing in this video. If you guys made it to this far in the video, leave me some pink hearts down in the comments. It means the world to me that you guys watch my videos, especially when you watch them all the way through. That helps my channel out so, so much. So thank you so much for your continued support on my channel. I am finishing this kitchen off by vacuuming. I did get a brand new Dyson. I bought it for myself, you guys, as a Christmas gift this year. I have been loving that, but I will be seeing you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye.